Bonjour mes amis, bienvenue. Hey guys, welcome back to the Language Tutor French series. So I have a relatively short and easy lesson for you today. We're going to be talking about the conditional tense. Yes, the conditional tense. Now, if you don't exactly know what the conditional tense is, I'm going to give you a really quick breakdown of it. And it's pretty easy to do in French. All right, conditional tense is typically in what we would say in English when we use the word would, all right? It's like you would do something if the conditions were right, you know, it's conditional. Um, here are a couple examples. Like if I said, um, I would sell my house, you know, if conditions are right, somebody offered enough money, you know, you're given conditions, you say, I would sell my house, okay? Um, we would eat there. We would eat there. You know, you opened a restaurant and yeah, we, we would eat there. If the conditions were right. We would. Um, what if you said she would finish it? She's the kind of person, if she were to start it, she would finish it if the conditions were there. So that's what we mean by condition, conditional tense is that somebody would do something, something would happen. All right. I think you get the idea. Let's talk about how to do this in French. Now, let's start with general ER verbs because ER verbs are, are very common in French. So uh, when we are going to conjugate ER verbs, what we're going to do is, you, you remember last episode, we talked about the future tense, all right? And I told you how to get that future stem, right? So we're going to take the future stem, the stem of the verb that we use in the future tense, and we're going to add a certain ending onto that. Now, you're going to recognize these endings because they're actually the condition, the endings that we used back when we did the imperfect tense. Okay, so let's just really quick go to our chart here and let's put the endings up. And just quickly go over those again, refresh our memories. Here are the endings. We had AIS for the first two um, forms, and then we had AIT in the bottom left or the IL, EL, and ON forms. And then we had IONS for NU and IEZ for VU, and IL and EL were AIENT. So those were our endings back when we talked about the imperfect tense. So we, we put those endings on there, but now, we're actually using that same stem that we used before when we talked about the future tense. We're just kind of tagging it on, okay? Okay, so now that we have seen the endings to the verb, all we have to do is take that stem that I told you about in the last episode when we talked about the future. Take that stem, put this ending on there, and you've got it. It's very easy. Let's do an example on the chart. Let's do the verb vendre, to sell, okay? Remember that that root, when we did uh, vendre, we actually, since it's an RE verb, last episode I told you in RE verbs, you just take off the E. So all we gotta do is take that V-E-N-D-R, that's our root, and just put those endings. So je vendrai, tu vendrai, il, elle, en vendrai, with an A-I-T -A now, and Nous vendrions, vous vendriez, and il and elle vendraient. All right, that's how we do it. But now you know there are going to be some irregular stems, right? We know we always have to have some troublemakers. So I want to go over the irregular stems with you. Okay, so let's put the first one up. The verb aller to go is going to use the stem. I are. Okay, now this is going to be our starting point. So if I wanted to say, I would go, I would simply say, j'irai, j'irai. So you can see uh, I took the IR and I just put the ending on there for AIT. So just take that irregular stem and there you go. So I'm going to do all je forms right here. Now for avoir, to have, you know this verb, the stem is going to be a u r. Now, Example, I would have, 
that would be j'aurais, j'aurais, okay? Now, être, to be, is going to use the stem ser, S-E-R. So, I would be, would be je serais, je serais. The verb faire, F-A-I-R-E, which means to do or to make, is going to use the stem F-E-R. So, I would do or I would make would be je ferais, je ferais. Pouvoir, to be able to, right? This is how we say we can do something. So, it's going to use P-O-U-R-R. Now, if we wanted to say, I would be able to, then we would say, je pourrais, je pourrais. Devoir, which means to have to do something, sort of must. Um, we're going to use D-E-V-R, and I would have to would be je devrais, je devrais. Savoir, to know, is going to use S-A-U-R as its stem in this tense. And so I would know would be je saurais, je saurais. Venir, to come, it's going to use V-I-E-N-D-R as its irregular stem. So if I wanted to say, I would come, you had a party, I would come, sure. Je viendrai, je viendrai. All right, let's do a couple more. Voir, to see, is actually going to use V-E-R-R as its stem. So I would see would be je verrai, je verrai. Now, the, the last one is vouloir, which means to, to want. This is interesting. It uses the stem V-O-U-D-R. Now, if you wanted to say, I would want, you could say, je voudrais. But this is interesting because if you, a lot of times if you're ordering in a restaurant, you, you instead of saying, je veux, Je veux, I want something, you, a polite way of saying is, je voudrais, je voudrais. So I would, it's like saying, I would like. I would want, but it kind of implies, I would like, you know, like we would say in uh, English. And that, my friends, is how we do this tense. You just take those endings and the stem and put it together, and you got it. So bring this into your conversation over the next several weeks, but always supplement your learning with new vocabulary and new words. Very important. We'll be having more vocabulary lessons in the future. And hey, practice with me on the go in the Language Tutor French podcast. I'd love to practice with you. Well, guys, I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. But in the meantime, I wish for you and all your family and friends, paix et bénédiction, peace and blessings. I'll see you soon. A bientôt. Friends, thanks for watching the Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.